We made it! Finally! Hey guys, welcome back to another travel video. My name is Bharat Bhai Kere. Hope you all doing good. I am doing super great guys. We had been to many tourist attractions in and around Bangalore. We have seen many places. And people who have seen the same places in the multiple times, they got bored. And this time we have found something really interesting and uh, uh, we have found relatively something really low on the tourist ladder and absolutely beautiful place guys. That's none other than Savandurga. Yes, we are traveling to Savandurga today. The time is now 3.30. We wanted to go really early there. We'll give you a proper details and route, how it goes, everything. Let's start our journey here, guys. As I said, it will take around uh, 1 hour 30 minutes to reach Savandurga and it's around uh, 70 kilometers from the place uh, where I'm living. Uh, Savandurga is basically very much famous for the truckers. People have, uh, many people have been there for the trucking. It's more like a uh, moderate to difficult truck. It's not an uh, easy truck. Uh, importantly, though, once you reach the peak of the Savandurga, you can see the Arkavati reservoir from the peak. And secondly, uh, it is considered to be one of the biggest rock formation in the entire Asia. So we are going to track that Savandurga today. So I'm also feeling super excited it is actually. Before that, uh, there's one important thing. Savandurga, earlier the tickets were not there. Now the government has made the tickets mandatory for the truckers. So you have to buy your uh, tickets that cost around 250-300 uh, rupees from the uh, Eco Tourism Karnataka website. That, uh, as per I know. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description below. You can check the website and uh, you can buy your tickets before you go there. Finally, we made to reach in Savandurga. Uh, it's a bit confusing here from where to start. Uh, finally, we found the way, way to go. And uh, thing is, guys, if you're coming here in the weekday, you will not get any people here. So if you're coming with one, two people, so be very careful. You will not get one single person to start your truck. So in fact, we came here at five in the morning and uh, since it was very dark, so we did not, uh, uh, wanted to start in such a pitch dark you know uh, we also waited just to be a bit of uh, morning time and uh, start our truck and uh, we had a contact number in the ticket so we just called the forest officer right now then we requested him well, uh, good uh, they were cooperative they actually sending one of the guard along with us so yeah that's how our trucking is uh, starting now we are just waiting we are still not at uh, started the time is now exactly six o'clock uh, let's wait for a while and uh, we'll start our truck after that once the guard comes here let so before that I'll just quickly show you the hill the rock formation how it looks like We got, uh, we started our trekking right now and uh, we got uh, accompanied by the uh, forest department. So they sent the guard. Uh, unfortunately, it is only me today. There's nobody else. Uh, we have taken the special permission from the forest department. When you start your truck, it is right next to the Lakshmi Narasimh Swami temple. There's a small way to enter to the truck. Once you start your truck, so there's a arrow marks uh, everywhere. So you just need to follow the arrow marks. If you are coming with the one, two people or with a group of people, the day you book your ticket, you will get the contact number in the ecotourism department ticket. So in that there will be, they will mention the contact number of the person or the forest guard. What I suggest one day before you call them, check with them what time it starts they will give you a proper details takes around one one and a half hour 
ಮಳೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾರಿ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಈಸಿ ಟ್ರೆಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಮಾಡ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೆಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾನ್ಸೂನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಮಚ್ ಸ್ಲಿಪರಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಗೈಡ್ ಯೋ ಸೊ ಈವನ್ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ರೈನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾನ್ಸೂನ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಪೀಕ್ ದ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಬಸವಣ್ಣ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಯೂ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ದ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕುಕ್ ದ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೇ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದ ದಸ್ ದ ಬಿಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಪೂಜಾ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರೈಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಹಿಯೋ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ವಿ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯೂ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೇಜಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಹೊಯ್ಸಲ್ಲ ರೂಲರ್ ಸಾಮಂತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಂಪೇಗೌಡ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟಿಪ್ಪು ಸುಲ್ತಾನ್ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ಯೋ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ so far we completed around one fourth of the trekking still long way to go from the starting point till the one fourth it's completely steep guys when you come the trekking keep that in one mind reaching the destination is not your goal enjoying the trekking trail is your happiness that's where i feel always the happiness but if you made it to the peak or if you reach the destination as the bonus always you really want to see where we are going crazy guys if you are coming to this truck make sure that you wear the proper shoes guys look at the steep you So imagine somebody slips from the point don't you want think of your life will be safe don't take her make your life is clear good for you know i made it half the video and the ultimate part is we get network at this point guys and you know from this point you can see the shiva gange Shivaganga is basically it's in the Tumko district and from Savandurga it's around 42 km you can see the Shivaganga hill from this point wow super ala guru and today only me and Santraj is all alone at this place <laughs> nobody else here in the entire trekking that's why I recommend you to come in the weekend can you see the white gopura from this point there we have to go that's around maybe another 600 meter i believe and you know while just crossing we get this on small shed so he was saying it's a hard shed they made it but you know guys it looks really simple okay there is nothing you will you can't take any photos or anything here but one thing what you have to notice here as i said the fort the entire this thing was built in the year 1528 to 1791 around 250 years back how can you imagine the people can carry such a huge stones here and build 
you know believe me i'm finding very difficult to carry my 2 kg of bags but imagine of one these stones how the way what it what will be the weight of these individual stones they built it here the just you come out of that uh, come out of this place you will get this pond to watch you you can take your photos here it's actually nice the minute you come out of that there's a small uh way direction they had given it's written in kannada the way to anjaneya temple so we are just going there and maybe we had came all the way here why to miss that place we'll take a quick darshan of the place jai hanuman It's a hidden temple here. We made it finally. We are moving back to our truck. There, at points, you have to be really, really careful, guys. So, you will whatever the shoes that you might wear. but it's totally slippery and it high risk definitely it's not advisable for the elderly people as well if you have enough strength or if you have enough uh, trekking experience definitely yes otherwise highly recommend no you can see the place where we have to cross now We made it finally yeah this is the bonus happiness i was talking about from here you must see the view point guys amazing it is now i know that why people love this place such a beautiful view that you can see from this point wow this place is really beauty and the beach guys here look at the huge rock god crazy it is it's such a huge rock and the view from here it's such a beautiful the wind we get from this point now after coming here definitely we need some bit of rest sit here peacefully and look around the place it's always doesn't matter where you come where you go you should have your own time otherwise it doesn't feel like why you made it and the sir karnataka flag people who doesn't know that somebody has put here thanks for them the point where you can see that's the bidrakatte trekking point there also people can go for the trekking and secondly can you see the lakshmi narsimha swami temple there and this point here you can see the saudi veerbhadreshwara swami temple here and the entire stretch what you can see that's the reservoir water of arkavati and uh, point where you can see that's the manchindale dam people who comes here carry as much as the water you can because in the weekday if you come here you will not get one single shop but in the weekends yes, there is a shop but that's only on the saturday sundays guys if you come in the weekdays you get nothing highly recommend to carry something to eat and uh, carry something to drink uh get hydrated all the time since last 10 15 days the forest department made it really mandatory for every person who enters they must have the eco tourism uh tickets here to entry or trekking and every 10 person you will get the guard along with you 
for your truck and your trucking is only to the Biliguda. Even early, earlier also it is restricted only to the Biliguda. Kariguda you can just see right over there. The, that's the Kariguda. The entry to the Kariguda is completely restricted. You cannot go, you are allowed only to the Biliguda to up to this uh, temple and this is the uh, end point guys. From here there is nothing. If you want to go you have to jump after this. There is no point. That's the reason it called Fort of Death. Well, without informing the forest guard, don't try to make this because uh, so it's hardly that you are paying 300 rupees per person, and for that you will get a guard for your truck. It also helps them for for their day-to-day -day life. So keep that in mind. Book your ticket in the Eco Tourism Karnataka Department website and get a guide and start your truck. Otherwise, this truck is amazing experience that we got, guys. Here, the feeling I'm getting right right here right now. It's my time. And to reach from the base to top, you need around one hour, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. If you are taken in between any breaks or in between any uh, rest, you may need another 30 minutes extra easily that you can reach the to the peak in hardly two hours and also i have a small suggestion to the uh, forest department uh you can actually look at this street right somebody has uh bought the line here long long year back we can consider this renovating it one small light can change the beauty of that in the night time and secondly uh if possible there is no small washrooms or something you can actually build that that helps for the people women and girls also they come here for the trekking they'll feel little bit of uh, uncomfortable if they really want to go to the washroom so it one small tiny little washroom it really helps and it makes a lot of changes this has a humble request and suggestion from the citizen of india and super guys we spent almost uh, 45 minutes here so we felt really amazing looking at the beautiful scene and scenic view from the savandurga hill when there's a dustbin, why we want to litter all the places? Put it in the dustbin, guys. Let's keep our place really clean. It will be good for the next tourist. As I said, we were 4,022 feet above the sea level. We are standing right here. Uh, at this point, we should definitely keep the place clean. Now it's time for me to go down, but it's a crazy thing. It's not easy at all. So you have to be really careful at such point one slip gone guys let's not break our bones super guys we reached the base here I think uh, I hope you all enjoyed our vlog as well as uh, the beauty of the Savandurga. I got really good company from our Shant Kumar. He, I was alone. He took care of me so much, and he taught me and he guided me. He detail of the place of Savandurga. That's such a sweet and also thank you all for watching the complete video. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and please do hit the like button if you like the video and. We'll see you soon in the next video. We'll come back with a new video, with a new adventure. Love you guys. See you. Bye-bye.